students welcome to the lecture on medical records and after this lecture we will be able to learn the following objectives understand the uses of medical records define the value of medical records explain the responsibility for the medical records discuss development and content of the hospital describe the format types of medical record explain required characteristics of entries in medical records define the responsibility for the quality of the medical records let's start with the introduction a medical record is defined as a clinical scientific and administrative and legal document relating to patient care in which sufficient data is written in the sequence of events to justify the diagnosis treatment and the end results the medical record today is a compilation of the pertinent facts relating to a patient's health history including past and present illness or illnesses and treatment prescribed by health professionals contributing to the patient's care purpose the primary purpose of the medical record is to accurately and sufficiently document the health history of a patient including past and present illness or illnesses and treatments prescribed with special attention on the events affecting the patient during the current episode of care ownership the medical record developed in the hospital or its branches is considered to be the physical property of that hospital however the data contained in it is it is the property of the patient and thus must be available to the patient and or the patient's legally designated representative on request according to the rules let us now discuss uses of medical record the medical record contains a wealth of information and has several uses the uses of medical records are of two major types personal and impersonal personal personal uses refers to when the identity of the patient is needed and retained for example a request of copies of specific portions of a patient's medical record by the insurance company for reimbursement claims impersonal impersonal use refers to when the patient's identity is not required and is therefore not retained for example the use of data from a large number of medical records for a research study or clinical trials patient or management the course of treatment given to the patient is documented for every episode of care this provides communication between the primary physical primary physician and other medical professionals treating the patient quality review the medical record enables a regular evaluation of the co completeness and the appropriateness of the care given to the patient thus improving on the overall quality of care financial reimbursement it is used to settle and substantiate a reimbursement claims of the hospital and the patient with insurance companies legal affairs the medical record contains vital information which protects the legal interests of the patient physician and the hospital education it helps in case studies or rare cl clinical findings or diagnosis which are carried out in many hospitals for the education of the medical faculty of the hospital research the medical record provides data for research studies which enrich and advance medical knowledge public health it is used for the identification of the incidence of infectious or other diseases which help in future planning for the overall health of the nation and the world planning and marketing to identify the services for improving and promoting the serv different services of the hospital in our setting here in the hospital where we have a whole bunch of information systems connected through hospital infrastructure we still have a huge need to communicate and exchange information so getting information to the patient's bedside or to the physician walking around between patients is a fairly important and demanding application of communications technology. The TELUS healthcare solutions that we've been offered have really made it easier to look after patients. With our mobile technology, information is available right as you walk around. So you don't go back and forth from place to place. You just make your rounds, go from one patient to the next, and you're able to bring the information with you. When you actually have information right at your fingertips, 
patient asks, you look it up. And you can then actually show them lab results, reports, uh, actual images uh, right you know, to the patient while they're sitting in the bed. Well, for a lot of patients, that's really helpful. Being sick is pretty frightening. It's a pretty disturbing experience for most people. And so anything that reduces the degree of anxiety, the degree of confusion, the amount of stress that patients are suffering is much more helpful for patients. It makes it easier for them to manage their illness. TELUS has already contributed very significantly to the hospital's mission. They provide us information systems through the foundation of electronic patient record here. We use their technology for our mobile systems here that we use to allow clinicians to move around the hospital and bring information with them. So their contribution to the hospital has been enormous in terms of providing this type of technology that is the foundation of this world we're trying to build. Let us now discuss value of medical record. The information contained in the medical record is valuable to many users. The patient. The medical record contains a vital information about the patient's past and present health history. The present episode of care documented in the form of history, physical examination and findings, diagnostics, the treatment given, medical, surgical or both, and the response of the patient to the treatment. The hospital. The medical record enables quality review. The performance of medical professionals working in the organization is evaluated through regular review meetings based on the documentation in the medical record. It enables the hospital management to evaluate the usage of hospital resources such as special diagnostic equipment and special services offered by the hospital and human resources. The medical professional. The medical record provides information to the medical professional when treating the patient guides him in deciding on the proper treatment to be given during the current episode and the subsequent ones. The educator, researcher and public health officer. The information contained in the medical record is valuable to medical professionals and students of medicine to learn about the occurrence of various disease processes, their treatment and the effectiveness of the treatment given. Third party pairs. Specific portions of information contained in the medical record is required by third party pairs, such as insurance companies or organizations responsible for hospital claim payments in order to determine the eligibility of the care given to the patient and to substantiate the claims made by the patient or the hospital for financial reimbursement. Let us now discuss the responsibility for the medical records. It is the hospital's responsibility to provide a medical record for each patient availing the services of the hospital and to safeguard the medical record and its content from any damage, loss, tampering and unauthorized use. The hospital management body. The hospital management body is responsible for the proper care of the patient and for providing an appropriate infrastructure by appointing capable and qualified personnel for the efficient management of the hospital. The hospital administration. The prime responsibility of the chief executive officer and the medical director as part of the administration is to ensure that the medical and non-medical staff follows the rules and regulations established by the hospital with regard to patient care. Organizing the medical records department functions. Medical records manager. Planning and organizing includes budgeting, tactical and operational planning. Assistance. Supervision, analysis, coordination and carrying out work assigned by the manager. Clerks. Retrieval, assembling, coding, indexing, statistical calculations and filing. Responsibility, managers. Responsibility. The manager of medical record department is responsible for proper coordination between the department and the physicians. Proper coordination with other departments which need medical records in order to contribute directly or indirectly to patient care. Spreading awareness among the staff of the hospital regarding the importance of accurate and complete medical records. Attending physicians and medical professionals. Responsibility. They are responsible for the following. Timely documentation regarding the patient's daily care in the medical record. Adequate and accurate documentation with complete details about the clinical part of the record.
Our vision is to maintain this level of culture that we have. And the culture is the patient's care is above everything. And what drives us to do that is really from right here. No pun intended, it's from our heart. We believe that the provider, even the nurse provider, should become a, an owner in the patient's care and become an owner in the patient's outcome. And we develop processes um, just by thinking through uh, patient-focused care. So we don't move the patient through the systems, we move the systems to the patient. This hospital is delivering technology that is new for America. We have set the standard for cardiovascular care in the state. This is Arkansas Heart Hospital and we are a subspecialty cardiovascular hospital. Well, the, the challenges are a uh, couple. I think probably one of the areas that's the, that unfortunately is the uh, uh, most uh, painful is declining revenue. Uh, de declining revenue for each particular procedure. To um, being able to pay for, for those uh, new technologies that come along, um, to be able to provide a, uh, an exceptional level of care. And to do that with, uh, with uh, infecting the culture simultaneously of saying the patient comes first, we're going to do everything we can for the patient, is a bit, uh, that, that's the challenge. I think that's the challenge. And uh, so uh, that is, that's something that you have to be able to modify your plan. The more we develop our workflows, our clinical workflows that uh, we're working on right now, the more we interface with other information systems throughout our laboratory and our radiology department um, and our cath labs. And the faster we can care for patients, provide a higher level of care um, for them. So now, if in order for a nurse or a physician to take care of their patient, they have to interact with IT in some way. IT is directly involved in that process and we have to adapt that application or system to that doctor's need in order to perform the best patient care possible. So we went into the market and we evaluated several different software applications or software suites and we chose Sorian because it, it met our needs the best. And the doctors thought that the, they thought that the, the Sorian system was superior. Uh, superior and it was more intuitive and it was easier for them to use. It's very flexible. We can adapt it to our physicians and clinicians workflow and it allows us to paint a complete picture uh, of the patient to the best of their ability. So that's what that's the reason that the Sorian system was chosen is is it was basically the providers. We now have access to information, I mean, literally at, at the touch of a finger. I don't necessarily have to ask a patient 16 times what their allergies are, okay? Um, I'm, I'm looking at my information as I'm communicating with my patient. Um, I know if they're allergic to penicillin or they can't take Plavix or whatever the case is. So whenever a nurse or a physician performs an assessment, we can alert several different areas in the hospital for education, counseling, medication, orders, all at the same time off of a single point of contact. That's a huge patient satisfier. The implementation of the digital record into the clinical setting of actually giving medication, actually doing uh, vital signs, actually taking care of, uh, of, of patients. The implementation is painful. Change is difficult for everybody, but once they see the benefit of what they're doing um, with the uh, computerized charting and the order entry, um, then they understand. I think the, the biggest change that you see is you can identify areas of weakness easier. Legibility is a huge issue in, in healthcare, and we have overcome a lot of legibility issues 
with our uh, uh, order entry and uh, medication and discharge instruction information. It doesn't increase the amount of time the doctor can spend. At this point, we're not there. Uh, but it probably does improve both our uh, revenue cycle and our nurse interaction with the patient. It's definitely lessened the gap between clinician and computer. Innovation is one of our core values. We believe that uh, technology, not all technology, but we believe that superior technology leads to superior outcomes and so that's our essence. Now let us talk about development and content of the hospital medical record. The medical record establishes facts regarding what a hospital is accomplishing. The wealth of data available in the medical record enables the management to make important decisions and review the quality of care given to the patient. The data is broadly classified into two groups, administrative data and clinical data. Administrative data it comprises the following records or forms face sheet or registration record this form contains the socio-demographic data of the patient which is part of the basic identification data of the patient authorization form the back of the registration record is often used for the authorization form which has the following statements that the patient agrees to receive basic and standard procedures for treatment that the hospital does not guarantee the outcome of the treatment, that the patient or guardian is responsible for the payment of the treatment given, consent for release of information. This consent is also printed at the back of the registration record. It states that the patient authorizes the hospital authorities to release information about his her treatment to specified organizations or people such as the insurance company, the employer and so on. Special consent. This type of consent or authorization form is used when the patient has to undergo major procedure or a non-routine investigation. This form when signed by the patient becomes the record of the consent of the patient that he she is agreeing to undergo the procedure listed in the consent form. Clinical data. The second major group of data in the medical record is the clinical data. It consists of the following records and reports face sheet or registration form. It contains authorization, consent for release of information, summary of the administrative and socio-demographic data, and summary of the clinical data, history and physical examination chart, provisional diagnosis form, doctor's orders, progress notes, investigation chart. Now we will talk about format types. The medical record format signifies the systematic arrangement of the forms and their con content in the medical record file. These are three types of format, source-oriented, problem-oriented and integrated. Source-oriented, medical record. In this type, different records in the medical record are organized according to the department which provides care and initiates data. Advantages. Since the records of each department are filed together, it is easier to determine the assessment, observations, treatment and the follow-up care that has been carried out by a particular department. Disadvantages Since the information is organized in sections, it is difficult to quickly determine all the problems of patients and their treatment. The totality of approach and the links are not evident. Problem-oriented Medical record. The problem-oriented medical record, normally referred to as POMR, was introduced by Dr. Lawrence L. Weed in 1960s. This type of format helps in reflecting the logical thinking of the physician who is giving treatment. It also provides a systematic method of documenting the care given to the patient. The POMR has four basic parts. Database, problem list, Initial plans, progress notes. Database. The database includes the basic information about the patient as given by the patient, which includes the main complaint, the patient's profile, current illnesses, and other related matters. Problem list. The problem list is a form placed at the front end of the record, 
problems are defined as any situation that requires care and investigation. Initial plans. The initial plans consist of plans regarding what has to be done to learn more about the patient's condition, treat the condition and educate the patient about the condition. Progress notes. It contains the follow-up of every problem stated in the problem list. Each note is numbered and titled according to the problem it addresses. Advantages. All the problems of the patient should be considered by the physician in the total context. The logical thought process of the physician can be clearly noted since the data is organized thus which enables standard medical education. The medical record clearly documents the goals and methods of the physician treating the patient. Since the data is organized, the quality assurance process is easier. Disadvantages The major disadvantage of this format is that extra commitment and training is required of the medical and professional staff that makes entries in the medical record. Integrated medical records The forms are arranged in strict chronological order. At the nursing station, the forms are arranged in reverse chronological order with the most recent entry at the front end. But after dis discharge, the forms are rearranged from the date of admission to the date of discharge. Advantages All the information regarding a single episode of care is put together, giving a clear picture of the patient's condition and the, and the treatment given. The progress of the patient is quickly determined because current reports from all the specified sources are together. Disadvantages In this format, comparison of similar information is difficult, for example, level of lipids over a period of time since all reports of the same type is not filed together in the record. Required characteristic of entries in medical records it is often said that a complete medical record indicates complete care and conversely a poorly documented medical record reflects poor care. It may also be possible that a complete and meticulously maintained record exists for a patient who received poor care. Appropriate documentation The information documented in the medical record by the medical professionals who are, un who are authorized and responsible to provide care determines the quality of the medical record. The hospital management and the medical professionals of the hospital must determine the policy about who has the authority and responsibility of making entries in the medical record. Authentication Medical professionals who are authorized and responsible for providing care to patients are also responsible for verifying and documenting the care given in the medical record and authenticating the entry with the date of entry and signature. Abbreviations Only standard abbreviations and symbols which are approved by medical professionals, the ones for which explanatory leg legend is available with those who are responsible for entry in the medical record and also those who interpret them should be used. Timeliness Human memory tends to fail. Hence, it is imperative that all documentation regarding patient care must be done as soon as the treatment or care is given. Completeness The patient's record must be completed at least within a week of discharge. Completeness of medical records implies that all clinical events have been documented as soon as possible after it took place and all the required forms and formats have been assembled and authenticated legibility. The legibility of the documentation in the medical record determines the usefulness of the record. Correction of errors and omissions. Correction of any error in the medical record is done by drawing a line through the erroneous entry with the citation wrong record beside it. Responsibility for the quality of the medical record. It is the responsibility of the hospital to maintain the medical record. The medical professionals of the hospital have the ultimate responsibility for the overall quality of the medical record. Medical Record Committee In most of the hospitals, the quality review of the medical record is done by a specific committee constituted for this purpose, which is called the Medical Record Committee. This committee usually has members from the management, medical staff, consultant physicians and surgeons, and the medical record department. Functions of the medical record 
committee. This committee, which is responsible for reviewing various aspects of medical records, is assigned the following functions. Reviewing the medical records for timely completion, clinical relevance, adequacy of the file for use in quality, review activities, adequacy of the file for use as a, media, as a medical legal document, recording the tests which were carried out, their results and the therapies given. Reviewing the security and integrity of the medical records department. Checking the retrieval system of the department for easy and quick retrieval. Role of the medical record professional. The medical record professional must play an important role in helping the medical staff of the hospital in reviewing the medical records. This is usually done by providing the medical record committee with selected files which carry different kinds of deficiencies and errors. Responsibility of the medical director. The medical director has the responsibility of spreading awareness amongst the medical staff and the stressing and stressing the importance of maintaining a high quality in the compilation of medical records. Empowerment of the medical record committee. Only with proper rules and regulations which are approved and implemented by the medical staff of the hospital can the Medical Record Committee operate efficiently, ensure the completeness of the medical records and be self-regulating just like any other routine functional group. Legal Aspects of Medical Records The medical record serves a secondary and important purpose and being a legal document is as such affected by laws, rules, regulations and institutional policy. The medical record is the property of the healthcare facility while the personal data contained in the record is considered a confidential communication which must be protected in the interest of the patient. Retention One, one of the problems faced by medical record departments all over the world is shortage of shorted space for active files and more so for inactive files. In all private healthcare facilities, space does not generate revenue should be kept to a minimum. Inactivity To decide on the inactivity of a case record, the following factors should be taken into consideration. The total space available for filing. The yearly expansion rate based on the inflow of files and the space occupied by them when arranged on the racks. Destruction Extent and intensity of research conducted. Laws statutes of the state in which the facility is located that might limit the destruction of specific files. Extent of review and readmission cases. Options. Some of the options for storage or destruction of inactivity records are storing in another area of the hospital, restoring to commercial storage, microfilming of records, computerization of medical records. With the advent of computers in the healthcare industry, many aspects of healthcare facilities enjoy a great advantage. Computer usage in healthcare facilities can be divided into three types financial, administrative, and clinical. Now, in the end, let us summarize what we have learned in this lecture. The medical record contains a wealth of information and has several uses. The uses of medical records are of two major types, personal and impersonal. The medical record serves a secondary and important purpose and being a legal document is as such affected by laws, rules, regulations and institutional policy. The medical director has the responsibility of spreading awareness amongst the medical staff and, the stress and stressing the importance of maintaining a high quality in the compilation of medical records. The medical record enables quality review. The performance of medical professionals working in the organization is evaluated through regular review meetings based on the documentation in the medical record. The medical professionals of the hospital have the ultimate responsibility for the overall quality of the medical record.